everybody so in today's version of in the garden with Erica we are going to work on the side yard and so I'm going to show you what the before looks like and hopefully at some point in this video you'll actually see the after so here we go so this is our side yard currently we have a nice bit of landscape here on the left hand side but as you can see the right side is pretty bare so our goal is to fill in the right hand side and then kind of create a little garden path um, eventually filling this area in with astroturf and potentially some stepping stones Every gardener needs uh, an inspiration picture, so I'll show you mine. We are headed to the Bushel Stop out in Lantana, which is a place that sells rock and brick and other garden accessories and things. We are getting timber light for the side yard. So we are specifically looking for Chicago brick, which is this. So these are actual bricks from old Chicago buildings. And if you're lucky, some of them even have writing in them. I'll see if I can find one for you. But we love this because it's a very natural texture and it makes a very nice border. And when you mix it with the timber light, it's great. I could spend all day here. One of our favorite plants for the garden is called milkweed. And really, it is butterfly food. So we're going to get some milkweed to fill in the area that we're gonna be planting today. And we've picked out a really pretty bougainvillea because I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna to try to create an arbor experience. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so Mark has hand selected some bricks for us and we're good to go. So when I say that these are butterfly attractants, I mean, we haven't even gotten it out of the truck yet. And I've got a monarch butterfly already on it. So these are going to do quite well. It's always good to have a strong man around to do the heavy lifting for you. We have milkweed already here in the garden. And remember when I said that it's butterfly food? So the beautiful yellow flowers and on the other one we got orange and red flowers. The caterpillars will come and they'll drink the nectar out of the flowers. They will lay their eggs up underneath the leaves. Those eggs 
eventually hatch caterpillars. The caterpillars eat all the leaves up until they're big, fat, and juicy. And then they go into chrysalis and they come out as more butterflies. So if I can get my camera to zoom in on that, look at how tiny. They're about the size of a poppy seed. That is a tiny little caterpillar egg. And you'll find tiny little caterpillars that hatch out of them. So this is a juvenile caterpillar. I would say he's probably a little teenager. They get much bigger than that and much fatter than that. And over here we have a giant milkweed. And I did see a little baby sized one on the flower here. So there you go, they get real tiny. They get even smaller than that. But man, they like to eat. So there are 28 varieties of milkweed. The giant milkweed, this will grow into a big tree. The milkweed that we have here will stay kind of bushy. This is not a plant that you put in your garden so that it always looks pretty. Because as you can see, the caterpillars eat the leaves and they will eventually ravish this down and it'll just be sticks until the plant regenerates and grows back, which it does pretty quickly. But same thing with the giant milkweed. This is not planted to be pretty. Half of the flowers that uh, bloom don't really even make it because as you can see, the babies do enjoy the flowers just as much as they enjoy the leaves. And so the whole purpose of this plant, these plants, is to be food for baby caterpillars, be nectar for, for the butterflies, and be a place for the butterflies to come and lay their eggs and um, continue to promote life. Butterflies are really important in the garden because they're pollinators. They help to move pollen around all of our beautiful flowers. So they are welcome, just like we welcome the bees. And it's nice to be able to give them a place that they can eat and relax and be happy. Okay, so we've got everything all laid out. We placed the milkweed and the bougainvillea along the side here where we're planning to plant it. And we've got our bricks ready and our timber light and our extra garden soil. So from a visual standpoint and trying to figure out how I carve out my new flower bed, I need to get rid of these stepping stones because from a visual standpoint, they're really throwing me off. Uh, they're totally straight and I just need to be able to allow some natural curve in here. So let's get rid of those to start off with. Okay, so we got the bricks out of the way and that will help with being able to visually space out the place. And then I'm gonna grab some of the bricks and maybe draw a little bit of a line to try to figure out where I want to lay things. I love the Chicago brick and it really looks nice against the timber light that we chose, which is such a colorful rock different shapes and sizes. My initial plan is to kind of come off this edge. I don't really like lines and eventually I'd like to get rid of this entire sidewalk because that just it's just builder standard builder feed. Maybe we even come off a little bit like this. So I'm gonna mess around with this for a little while and uh, see if I can figure out how to naturally curve this like this one is. Okay, so I've got my little pathway laid out and 
I'm looking at it from both sides just to make sure that it looks good from either direction. And I would say that's a nice little path. trying to determine how many of these we pull. So Mark just dug out a trench for our bricks to lay down in, and we're gonna use some leveling sand to then level off the bricks and lay them in their spots. So while Mark's finishing that up, I'm going to tell you a little bit about why we selected to go with a Bougainvillea. When we first moved to the house, this Bougainvillea was growing in the backyard and it was basically just, I don't know, it wasn't doing well, it was dying. We ripped it out, put it in a bucket for trash and set it over there by the gate to go out to the garbage. And lo and behold, in the trash bucket, it started to grow. So eventually I said, well, it wants to live, put it in a pot. So we put it in a pot, we didn't know where to put it. So I just kind of shoved it here. And now it has absolutely taken off. It is its own big vine. And it goes all the way up into our tubicina tree. And eventually is going to crust. So, our goal is to put another bougainvillea to match, and eventually that will grow all up the wall and match that one, and eventually be a beautiful um, arbor type area. So, that's the reason we selected this bougainvillea today. So, really, now it's just about leveling the flower bed. And the one thing you have to be careful of is we have a sprinkler system. And I know our sprinkler head is over there where Mark is now. And I've got another one right here. So I've got to be careful because at some point I'm going to come across that sprinkler line. And I don't want to pop it because that will be an unnecessary project. See that there? There's my sprinkler. Right where my hole is. So, I'm going to make my back end of my hole there, so that means I'm going to have to make up for it here. Yep, that's real good. All right, I like that. Okay, I threw down some good fresh garden soil around the edge there, and now we'll give it some water. Isabella, do you like how it's coming along? Look at you with your fresh haircut. You look so pretty. Yes, yes. Okay, so I've taken some time to get all of the milkweed into the ground, moved a lot of dirt and put some fresh dirt in, kind of leveled it off. So our next step is to go ahead and just comb out our trench a little bit stronger again and put the bricks down with the leveling sand.
Now we use the leveling sand to backfill the little trench. Okay, so we got all of the bricks down and now Mark is going to fill it. <laughs> all right. We use the leveling sand underneath all the bricks to get them level in our line. But now you've got a lot of gaps and spaces, um, you know, from when the trench was dug out. We're going to use more sand, go back in, pour it down, and then brush it in, water it in. It'll fill it, keep everything nice and tight. Perfect. Yeah, look how nicely that filled in all the gaps. Okay, so now we're going to backfill the bed with some good garden soil. Here's a tip that I learned. Never use garden soil in a pot. It becomes rock hard. You always want to make sure if you're potting something that you're using potting soil. And I don't like to use garden soil now that I know how hard as a rock it gets because even in the garden, I wind up having to mix it with something to loosen it up a little bit. So I like potting soil all the way around. Okay, our last heavy step is to start putting the timber light down. We have 11 bags, which will hopefully cover the entire flower bed, and maybe we'll have a little extra just to backfill on the other side. There might be some spots that need it. When the timber light first comes out of the bag, it's covered in dirt. And you look at it and you think, well, that's not very pretty. But watch what happens when we rinse this with water. You knock all that powdery dust off the timber light and it really exposes the beautiful colors of the natural stone. Beautiful sky we're working in tonight. Okay, so our project is finished. We did run out of daylight, just need to do a little cleanup, but tomorrow we'll come out in the morning and take a look and see what it looks like in the daylight. Good morning. Nice to see what it all looks like in the daylight. We've got a nice little path carved out. I'm very excited and our last project of this will be to put the AstroTurf down, and that'll come at a later time. But the side yard project seems to be coming along nicely. Wouldn't you say, Isabella? Yeah. So mom just arrived. Hi, mom. Hi. And she hasn't seen it yet, so let's go ahead. Oh, wow. That looks good. Very nice. Thanks. Very good. So we're going to rip all the um, concrete out and pull all this white rock out. And this will all be AstroTurf. Oh, that'll be nice. So you don't want to keep the concrete yet? Mm -mm. No. A lot of hard work.
See, he's laying his little legs up underneath the leaf.